Hello and welcome to this short training video on QuizCom forms. In this video, we'll learn how to create a dynamic rule that hides or displays a certain field. More specifically, our goal for this video is to optimize our help desk form by only showing the software field if the category equals software and the hardware field if the category equals hardware. We already know how to get to the fields level permission settings page, so let's go to it right away. We'll need to create two rules in this video. The first rule will apply to the hardware field. What we need to do is to hide the hardware field on all the three forms. So we'll select the new edit and view form. And the condition that we have to put, we have to say hide the hardware field unless the category field equals hardware. So in the column, I will choose the category field. We will then choose does not equal. And then we select the hardware value and we click add for the rule. And then we click on add field level permissions. So we add this new rule to our form. Afterwards, we need to create a similar rule for the software type. So we apply a rule on the software type. We hide it on all the forms. Unless the category does not equal software, we will add this condition and add the rule to the form as well. So you will see that currently, we have three rules applied to our list. Lastly, an important change to do, especially for this type of rules, is to check the support client side validation checkbox. This will allow the form to be dynamic and show or hide columns dynamically. We'll cover the effects of this checkbox more in detail in a later video. Let's click on OK, navigate to the help desk form, and look at the results. I will create a new item and you'll see by that default, we don't see neither the hardware or the software field because there is no default choice in the category box. As I choose hardware, you see the hardware type appeared. And if I switch to software, the hardware type disappears and the software type field appears. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a dynamic rule with QuizCom forms.